so there it is to a in comparison to a American standard large McDonald's coffee whatever that is lawn with a rabbit. Yeah, so this is the lawn that I'm expecting it to mow. Uh, I've already started actually building barriers. I went out and bought these bricks for a buck. These things here. They're about a buck each at Menard. And I had those bricks. So the idea here is to... Sorry, Rabbit. Uh, the idea here is to build a nice little barrier that it can see. I'll move these red bricks. And the white bricks are supposed to be enough. Now, the specs call out for a one foot wide barrier. Um, we'll see how this pans out. If it doesn't pan out, I'll have to get better bricks. But if you actually calculate out the square inches, these are the cheapest bricks that at least Menards has. They end up being about, what was it, one cent? Is it one cent a square inch? Anyway, they end up being the cheapest. They're 8 by 16. So we'll see how this pans out. And then the idea is to use the magnetic strip to block off this area. So we're just going to block this off, and the goal is just to have it do the backyard. Now all this, there's going to be bricks around this tree, and I'm going to have a barrier. I don't think I'm going to use bricks, but I'm going to have another barrier that goes around this, because I don't expect it to be able to get into there. It really just needs to cut this yard. Now the challenges with this yard is it is not level. Um, it uh, The grass grows significantly different density throughout the yard so I'll have to figure that out my normal lawnmower I can have a really hard time for instance right right along the patio here about four feet out of the patio that grass is extremely thick and it tends to thin out as you get further down so I'll have to see how that pans out So this is just an example of it getting stuck. Now this is not, I don't think this is a very fair. Here, <clears throat> there's a bit of a hill there where the transformer's at. <clears throat> and I think every time it tries to turn, it, it just can't turn enough. So it's actually been sitting here for about maybe almost a minute trying to get out of here. I think making some progress. But again, I mean, keep in mind, it's, it's basically dumb. So... It has no idea that it's stuck in a rut. Yeah. I think by now it would turn all the way around, but it may not know. Okay, so now if I pick it up and turn it and see what happens. There it goes. The Lawnmaster Okimo is ready to mow out of the box and uses optical navigation technology to effortlessly navigate around your lawn with precision even in challenging lighting conditions. Specially designed for smaller yards, the Okimo mows up to 1,000 square feet on a single 3-hour charge, with the option to extend coverage by purchasing extra batteries. Optimize performance by defining your lawn's perimeter with a raised edge of at least 2.3 inches to prevent the mower from leaving the grass and set up a virtual fence to keep the mower clear of forbidden areas. Dual ultrasonic sensors navigate around obstacles as small as 6 inches and tackle slopes up to 35%. For adjustable cutting heights, a carry handle and quiet operation at 68 dB, all packed in a compact design for easy storage. So that's interesting. The camera's not seeing the pink rocks, the pink uh, edging there. Now, the ultrasonic sensor should be turned on. 
but they're probably too low. But the boundary is too low. So that's a good that's a good point, but <clears throat> for whatever reason it's not seeing that boundary. Very smart though. Uh, just as I said that of course it did that. Interesting. So I have to fix that boundary. It's just not high enough. Oh, there it goes. So essentially, I figured it out. But it's definitely not seeing that boundary at all. Maybe it's because the bricks are red. I'm not sure. It sees the white bricks without a problem. So we'll get a chance to see that here when we get to the uh, this boundary up here. So this is a little experiment I'm doing with some red bricks, which it sees here. Or maybe it's just seen the tall grass. Uh, yeah, it's not seen the red bricks. So it just really doesn't like the red bricks. Now the ultrasonic sensors are very sensitive. Yesterday I was running it in the front yard and it was a long dandelion. And the ultrasonic sensors would detect the dandelion. So now you can turn those off, but they are ultra sensitive into this goofy mode. Let's see, maybe I can maybe I can just start it. Let's see. Yeah. Not sure what it wants. So push this maybe? Then push that. Yeah, push. Now what happens is it has not started spinning the blades yet. And then it's going to yeah, so beep beep beep. Now the blades are spinning. In auto cutting mode, the robotic mower will mow the lawn in a random pattern. After the robotic mower is powered on, press the auto button for one second, followed by the start slash on button. After five seconds of continuous running, you will hear beeps to indicate the blades have started to spin. The robotic mower will automatically search for a suitable working area. If the robotic mower does not, Find grass within 5 seconds, it will change direction and start running again in a new direction. The blades will not spin until the mower can run for continuously for at least 5 seconds. In the next video, I will show how I fixed these problems, and how well the mower worked. Lawn edges must be clearly defined by flat edging or raised barriers in order for this mower to function properly. Visual boundaries need to look different from lawn, therefore changes in color and texture are very effective. Physical boundaries help stop the mower when a visual boundary is not possible. Temporary physical boundaries can be used while the lawn boundary definition is improved. The robotic mower is equipped with the following sensors which allow it to detect the boundaries of the yard. The lawn detection camera, for recognizing changes in surface type, e.g., from lawn to paving. Two ultrasonic object sensors, for detecting the obstacles higher than 9.84 foot, 25 centimeters. They sense plants, shrubs and other obstacles in and around the edges of the lawn. In the next video, I will show how I fixed these problems, and how well the mower worked on my lawn.